everyone! Today I'm making kimchi, so if you want to know how to make this, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook! I'm using a 5 pound Napa cabbage. So what you're going to do is just peel off the outer layers of it first and we're just going to throw those away. We don't want that at all because I don't know what's been on there and I don't want to wash this. So we're going to cut it right in half and then we're going to cut it again so then you'll have fourths. And then we're going to cut it again and we're going to have eighths. Depending on how large you want your bite-sized pieces, just cut it to your preference. I like them a little bit smaller, so I'm going to cut them into smaller bite-sized pieces for myself. Now grab a large mixing bowl. It doesn't matter if it's metal or plastic, but just throw all of your cabbage in there until you're done slicing them. Now for five pounds of cabbage, we're going to need about half a cup of salt. I'm using the Himalayan pink salt because it just works for me. I like it. We're just going to mix this up and let it sit for 30 minutes first. Go ahead and salt these in thirds so that you can equally distribute the salt around while you're mixing everything up. As for our veggies, all we need is about a quarter cup or a whole entire bulb of garlic, a quarter cup of onion, four green onions, a tablespoon of minced ginger, and one carrot. So we're just going to smash all these up. Get a processor. It'll make it so much easier, so much faster. It'll blend it right up. You want to use this instead of trying to mince it all up by hand. I'm using a third cup of hot pepper flakes, but use whatever you can tolerate. And then we just, I just added a tablespoon of uh, Splenda into that with some julienne carrots and my green onions. I'm gonna chop up diagonally just to make it prettier. Once all that's done and thrown into a bowl, we're just gonna mix up our paste. And this is it for our kimchi paste. All we have to do is just mix it up really well and set it aside. Now it's been about 30 minutes. I'm gonna show you guys the water. That's it right there and that's it. That's all that's come out in 30 minutes. One hour later, that's how much there is. You keep doing this for two hours. I know that people don't want to make kimchi because it's a long time consuming process, but it's actually very simple to make if you have the time to make it. But one and a half hours later, we have that much water left. And then exactly, I'm talking exactly, don't overdo this because otherwise it'll be too salty. Two hours later, we are done. You can see that I'm bending these uh, cabbage pieces. It's because if they break, it's not ready to go. So you have to make sure they're not breaking when you're doing this. Now all we're gonna do for three to four rinses of this is taking off all of the salt out of our cabbage. We've been letting it sit there for about two hours so you wanna get rid of all the salt. You're gonna see the salt still inside of your mixing bowl. Continue washing it several times until you don't get any more salt left inside of your mixing bowl. You see after a couple of washes I still had those little grains of salt in there. Yeah, I'm gonna keep washing. So yeah, when you think you're done, you're probably not. Just continue washing it just to make sure you get all of that out. It might seem tedious, but it'll be worth it in the long run. Now I'm giving the salted cabbage its final rinse. You can see that there was no more salt left inside of the container. And so what I'm doing is just rinsing it out. And then I'm gonna let it sit inside of the basket while I dry off my tub. You don't want any excess water in there because you're not going to water down your kimchi in any way. So take some time and dry it off with a paper towel so that you can throw your cabbage in there once it's done dripping dry. Just to help it out, I went ahead and squeezed some of the cabbage together so I can get some of that water out. And then I let it sit there for a minute. You can't tell in the video, but I did. And then throw it all inside of your container. Now grab a plastic glove or something because your hand will stain otherwise. You don't want to waste any of that, so let's throw every single bit of paste you can in there and then we're going to mix it all up until all of the cabbage is nicely coated into a nice little red color. Now grab whatever container you want to use to store your kimchi in. This is the same container I use. It's specifically for my kimchi every single time. But throw it all in there, press it all down because my mom told me to. That's what you're supposed to do. And you let it sit for a couple of days. I'm going to clean mine off. But you do that, you let it sit for a couple of days, and two days later, it's perfectly fermented and ready to eat. If you guys like this video, please subscribe. And thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.